Hello and welcome back to another Router Guides video. My name's Humphrey Chung and we're gonna go over another resume review and we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Usually for the resume reviews and the makeovers, we dive straight in, we start crossing things out, we start correcting things. But in this one, I'm gonna start with the four main strategies, the four big things that I look for, the four principles in terms of how to make your resume better. And then when we get to the actual resume, we're gonna use those four principles and we're going to apply them. So the first thing that I see as a big mistake in resumes is the fluffy summary. That paragraph at the top where most people just waste time and they say things like, I'm a hard worker, I learn fast, I'm friendly, I'm a team, uh, I'm a team player. We, we don't care about that. The people who read your resume, we do not care. Uh, I hope you are a team player. I hope you are a fast learner uh, because if you're not, um, most places won't hire you. So you're going to prove those aspects. You're gonna prove that you're a team player by showing that you're managing people, that you're a team lead in your resume, in the bullet points below in the job section. You're gonna prove that you're a hard, uh, you're a quick learner by showing off the, the certifications, whether you have a CCNA, CCNP, et cetera, whether you are working on complex systems, whether you've been promoted a couple times at your job, that type of stuff. So beware of the fluffy resume. That's, that's number one. That's the biggest thing that I see. And it's number one because you would get hit with the summary at the top. When we take a look at your resume, yes, there's, there's your name, there's your address, your email address, but right below there is the summary that most people put and you, our eyes just glaze over most of the time. Number two is having redundant information in your job section. And what I mean by that is, let's say one of your jobs is technical support. Technical support level one, level two, whatever it is. And then for your first bullet point, you put something like answered support tickets. Well, yes. Of course you're answering support tickets. You have just told us exactly what a tech support person does. We know that tech support people answer tickets, so you don't need to put that in there. Also, network engineer, job title network engineer, and I see the first bullet point, troubleshoot and implement network router switches and et cetera. We, we know that you're troubleshooting and we know that you're Im implementing switches and routers. You get, just have to be more specific which gets us into tip number three, bullet point number three, is not being specific in your job section. So you have your bullet points and you say, I'm looking for words like various, many, those types of words, because when you say implemented various routers, well, what kind of routers, how many? Implemented many projects, well, how many projects? How big were they? What types of technologies were they? So be very careful. You have to be specific in your jobs section, in the bullet points. And then number four is we're looking at uh, your skills at the bottom, where you put your skills summary. And so a lot of people, it's just a mess of keywords and acronyms, you know, MCSE, CCNA, and, and that's fine. But um, it's like you're throwing in the kitchen sink. You're, I, I've seen people take up half a page with their skill summary. They throw in stuff like uh, Excel and Notepad. I've seen Notepad before. Uh, I don't know if they're just trolling us or whatever. TC, I, TCP IP subnetting, why would, you, why would you put that down? Now, if you did a big subnetting project, that would be something you would put in your job section. Uh, I had to re-IP everything from a single slash 16 into multiple, uh, let's say slash 20s, and I had to do this and use NAT and blue code, you know, whatever, right? Uh, you had to use different technologies to do that. That would be something juicy to put in your, in your job section. But beware of the word salad, the acronym salad in the skill section. So that's my four points. Number one, fluffy summary. Number two, having redundant information. Number three, not being specific enough in the job section. And then number four, just having just a crazy skill section that's too hard to navigate. Okay, let's get into the resume. Okay, here's our resume. We've anonymized everything. We're gonna call this person MT. He's looking for a senior network engineering position 
and let's get down to it. First, we're going to get rid of this uh, stupid Microsoft Word ribbon up here because it takes too much space. So we're going to go up into focus mode, get rid of that. All right, that looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so first thing I do at the, with the resume is I spend the first couple seconds just kind of, we got the summary over here. We just kind of want a general overview of the structure. So I got the summary up top. We got the bullet points, the IT experience, lots of bullet points, eight bullet points for the first job. And he's been here not that long. So that's kind of, okay, eight. We'll, we'll take a look in more detail there. Five bullet points for the second job, three years-ish, maybe two and a half. And then it looks like this job, company three, six, almost six years, five bullet points, two bullet points, three bullet points, okay, okay. And then we come down here to company six, uh, one bullet point, which is completely fine because this is uh, a long time ago. So six companies in there. Been around the block since 2005. So he's got, uh, yeah, he's got 15 years or so of experience in IT. Uh, a little stranger, we got the summary of qualifications down here at the bottom. Why would you do that? Uh, we'll talk about that. And then we have the education at the bottom, which is completely fine. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's just take this summary of qualifications. We're gonna cut that out and we're gonna move it to the top. Now this does sound kind of weird because we have summary and then summary of qualifications. Let's just call this, let's do this, let's combine it. Let's say summary and skills, how about that? Summary and skills, we'll get rid of this. Okay, Got, uh, okay. And we will do something like that. We'll take a look at the bullet points a little bit later. Uh, I can definitely see uh, spots we're gonna chop it up. And uh, let's take a look at the summary, right? Usually we're looking for a fluffy summary. Serviced focused network engineer with over 15 years of experience. Okay, we're gonna kill that. 15 years of experience of how about 15 years 15 years designing, developing, and implementing networks in mission critical environments. Uh, okay. My professional background includes hands on experience, blah, 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 ranging from financial institutions, internet. Okay, so this is the good stuff here. You're telling me what areas you've worked in financial institutions, internet service providers, and healthcare systems. So I'm going to cut that and we're going to put it here. 15 years designing, developing, and implementing financial ISP. ISP is pretty understood. If, if you are applying for a company, they have no idea what the initials ISP stand for. Uh, be, be careful. And healthcare system, healthcare networks. Boom, let me get rid of the extraneous stuff. So see how much better that sounds. 15 years designing, developing, and implementing financial, ISP, and healthcare networks. Done. Very simple. Hands-on experience. Well, I hope you have hands-on experience in complex infrastructures, blah, 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 blah. All of that. Done. See, we cut out all the fluffy, extraneous stuff in that summary. One sentence. Done. Let's take a look at the skills. Remember, this was bullet point number four in that uh, you have massive skills. Let's see if we can cut this down. Experience in configuring and supporting Cisco routers. Just, just Cisco routers, switches, and firewalls. Okay, what other tools does this person have? Work efficiently, both independently. Really? Just kill that. Proficient in communicating. Really? Okay, kill that. Supporting multiple routing protocols, including EIGRP, okay, EIGRP, BGP. Proven ability to configure and troubleshoot at the CCNP, kill that. Familiarity with, uh, okay, okay. Cisco Prime, Panorama SolarWinds. Should Akama be here? Because I know Panorama is a product, and of course SolarWinds is a product. I don't know if Panorama SolarWinds together is a product. So not sure about that one. Uh, Cisco ICE. So you kind of want to blend the Cisco stuff together. So how about this? Cisco Prime, Cisco ICE. So put all the Cisco stuff together, kind of logically makes sense. 
switches, firewalls, paste, Cisco Prime, Cisco Ice. Done, nice and clean. So Panorama, Solwinds, Splunk, blah, 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 and Wireshark. Okay, that's cool. And then EIGP, BGP. Maybe do something like that. Now we're getting into a stylistic uh, situation, but uh, you can see how much more compact that is. Uh, now, another thing you may want to think about is what exactly, you know, you may want to put in model numbers of routers if they're the big chassis routers. You may want to put down, uh, you know, the models of the switches and the firewalls, that type of stuff. But uh, compact summary and skills. So we've taken care of bullet points number one, the fluffy summary. We've taken care of the bullet point number four, which is the skill section. Now let's get into looking at redundant information. Wow. Okay. So I'm not going to do all of this because this would take forever, but let's just start with, uh, we'll do company one and company two. Okay, so eight bullet points. So this guy is a senior network engineer. This is the present job. He's been here for about a year and a half. So looks like when COVID started. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, heavy involvement in engineering and design of network architecture. Yes, redundant information. You're a senior network engineer. Bye. That's gone. Okay, assisted and deploying managed Palo Alto firewalls. Okay, so this one right here, I just kind of eyeballed this. Assisted with deploying and managing Palo Alto firewalls as part of enterprise network segmentation. Okay, so this looks like a project. So this is a project. Assisted with deployed. Okay, so deployed, Palo Alto firewalls. How many? How many? What kind? How long was this project? As part of the network enterprise network segmentation. Okay. So we will call this network segmentation project. So you deployed the firewalls and then what was the result? So when we're talking about projects, what did you do? So this deployed Palo Alto firewalls, that's what you did. And then what was the result? Did you save some money? Did you save some time? Was there less errors by the doctors? So what came out of this? Did, did you complete the project under budget? Did you complete it ahead of schedule? Uh, stuff like that. So what you did and what happened. So network segmentation project. Review designs, plans, and configurations with junior network engineers. Okay, so this kind of shows a little bit of leadership, uh, to tutoring, mentoring, that type of stuff. I would probably, I would, I would leave this in, this is good, but I would be specific about how many network engineers? How big was the team? What exactly did you do when you reviewed the designs? So uh, this is good. I, I wouldn't bury this. I would probably put this maybe somewhere near the top, maybe even the top, because this, this shows that if you want a more senior position, this is what senior people do, okay? Okay, supported IT teams with the development, deployment of devices within supported, Yep. So I would, Cisco ACI, what, what did you do here? You know, did you, did you deploy XXX uh, number of ACI servers? Uh, how big was the infrastructure? Did you automate a bunch of stuff? You know, be, be specific here. Executed the transition of a healthcare campus from one organization to another utilizing network automation. Okay. From executed the transition of a healthcare campus from one organization to another, utilizing transition of what in the healthcare, was it the healthcare campus network, I'm guessing? This is kind of a, kind of a weird one. Uh, I, I would probably put something like um, campus migration project, if that's what it was. Campus migration project, healthcare, yeah, healthcare, campus 
migration project. Network automation with Ansible scripting. What did you automate? What? Be specific on this one. What did you automate? What, you know, was it just Ansible? Did you have to pull in? How did, how did you research it? How big was this project? How long did it take? Et cetera, et cetera. So you got two, looks like two decent projects here. I would group the, I would group the projects together. Okay, assisted with deploying, just, okay. Deployed two ACI fabrics in two data centers. Okay, this deployment included, okay. It's just dash four spines and 20 leaves in one data center and two spines with 18 leaves in the other. Okay, so just split that up. Some people put the comma before the end, other people leave it out, up to you. So deploy to, yeah, I think we're okay there. Network segmentation project, we did that. Maintain, test, and create network support standards documentation using Confluence, cool, all right. Maintain, test, and create network support standards using Confluence. Okay. It's fine. Assisted with architecting multi-region VPN solution. Architected multi-region Cisco SSL VPN solution providing secure connectivity. Okay. This is exactly what a VPN, this is redundant. This is a SSL VPN solution. It's probably AnyConnect. And uh, the, the only reason you, one of the big reasons you deploy VPN is you provide secure connectivity. So that goes away for 2000 remote users. Uh, yeah, it's understood for 2000 plus users. Now, seeing that this is COVID, probably COVID times, this is probably, I'm just guessing here, that this was an emergency situation uh, to get everyone work from home. This is, this is big. This is, uh, this is you know, COVID-19 project. Probably think of something more sexier. But this, think about what time we're living in now. We're living in the time of COVID. So this skill, this project experience is extremely important. So I would move that to the top. All right, so kind of group your projects together. In fact, if you want, you could kind of do something like this. This is something I've, I've seen before. Projects. So network segmentation project. This is a project. This is a project. Cut that. Pop that there. Uh, this, uh, I guess, Cisco ACI is also a project, right? So these are your projects. How about that? We'll move the COVID-19 project up top. Okay. And so these are your projects. That way you can save a little space there, get rid of the word project, get rid of the word project there, get rid of that. And so those are your projects. And this is kind of your do, do, do. There was, yeah, we could just, we can leave it like that. So. Something like that. Uh, also, another stylistic tip is usually I want the first, you may want to think about the first bullet point to describe the, the company. So healthcare, whatever. Uh, also, what some people do is you'll say company one dash healthcare industry or you know, fast casual you know, food service. You know, or if you're financial uh, fintech, right? So just, just in case this is not a well-known company and someone looking at this has no clue what uh, Baptist Memorial happens to be, although, I mean, it should be. Uh, I'm just making up the name, Baptist Memorial. But um, you can't assume that everyone knows. Now, if, you're, if you have, uh, you're working for Google, everyone knows who Google is. If you're working for Cisco, everyone knows who Cisco is. So you might, you might not need to put this dash and explain what industry this company is in. All right, so that's, uh, you can see how different this was. We tightened up a lot of the senses. We got rid of a couple bullet points. We grouped all the projects together. We reordered the COVID-19 stuff. 
up top and you just have to be more specific on many of these bullet points. Let's go down to company number two, senior network architect. So for about two, two, two years and some change. Architected, implemented, and managed IT infrastructure redundant. You're, you're a senior network architect, come on. Across a complex data and multimedia healthcare infrastructure. Okay, so this is healthcare, right? Don't need that. Developed guest wired network to meet evolving business needs. Fluffy, way too fluffy. Developed wired guest network. So this is a project, a project. Wired guest network implementation, right? How many users? How many switches? I'm, this is wired, so I'm guessing they're going into switches. How did you do it? What technologies, you know, what tech was used? Okay, served as escalation support for network access control during ICE deployment. Um, okay, escalation support. Uh, escalation support for network access control issues. Well, this is, this is exactly what Cisco ICE is for. Escalation support for Cisco ICE deployment. That's this one. This sentence is a little weak. Escalation support for Cisco ICE deployment. This doesn't sound like uh, I mean, yay, right? Uh, but if it kind of depends on were you the emergency escalation support? How many tickets did you answer? I mean, what uh, you know, what crazy stuff happened? Uh, how how extensive was this project? How many tickets? You know, I would. I wouldn't leave this just as escalation support for Cisco ICE deployment because that's it's kind of weak sounding there. Okay, redesigned a legacy multicast environment of 150 Cisco devices. What? Like what? What Cisco devices to improve multimedia services? What services? Right. Redesign legacy multicast environment to improve multimedia. And how long was this project? You, you almost have to, so on, on projects, you have to sell it to me. You have to sell it and say, whoa, this was a good project. Uh, you know, by itself, redesign 150, like if you said 150 chassis switches, and this was for the radiology department where um, the terabyte, uh, scans are being sent over and if this doesn't work people die you know so this you have to like uh, come up with uh, a little bit more and then the, the results the, the benefits and what 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 did you gain out of this out of this uh, project was uh, uh, now they're able to watch uh, live robotic surgery uh, you know something like that conducted traffic engineering to best you uh, wow conducted traffic engineering to best utilize upstream transit providers resulting in significant savings and network uptime. Significant savings, wow, not being specific, right? How much money did you save? How much better uptime? All right, did your uptime increase from 98% to 99.99%? Be specific on that one. Conducted traffic engineering, like, okay, what, what traffic engineering? Did you, did you do SD-WAN? Did you implement something else? Uh, how, so traffic engineering project resulting in some, some results. So what task you did, be specific about what task you did and what was the result. Task, result, task, result. And then, uh, yeah, and then we have this one with the ice deployment. Okay, you know, let's, let's continue. We're, we're having so much fun here with company one, company two. Let's, let's see how much worse it can get here. <laughs> um, company three, company three. Six years, so quite a long time here. We have five and a half years, network engineer. Assisted with successfully merging Okay, assisted with, how about merged? Merged, you merged, right? You merged two separate, okay, 
you don't say two separate, just say merged two, <laughs> merged two healthcare infrastructures and give the size. Yo, yo, how big were they? Into one entity, yeah. So that's what, that's what happens when you merge two things. So uh, redundant, you have merged two healthcare infrastructures of size A and size B. Developed route filtering strategy, ooh, how? What? Routing protocol? Right, wh what did you do here? Discover, document, and migrate business, how about migrated? Business to VP VPNs? How? What? Give, you know, sell me this, sell me this. <laughs> how, how tough was this? Lead campus re-IP. Uh, okay. Like, how big? What did you do? So whenever you say you lead something, how big was the team? Led five people, led six people, led project with $10 million. How big team? I know that's not good English, but uh, you know the, this is the person has to answer this. Provisioned network, blah, 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 okay. In various, okay, various solutions. Whenever you see the word various, so the, control F, Various. Look at that. Kill, look for the word various. Many. And kill, you know, be specific. Provisioned Nexus devices. Just kill that. To support server architecture. To, well, okay, to support servers. Like what kind of servers? VMware servers, Linux servers, you know whatever servers, how many servers? In a multi-tenancy environment, ooh, using VDCs and multi-context firewalls. Okay, cool. Uh, provisioned, yeah, I guess we can, we can leave that. There's more, we can tighten this up a little bit more, but I don't want to be spending the next five minutes doing that. Administrated, administered load balancing solutions using F5 platform. Okay, that's exactly what an F5 does, so we kill that. To meet customer needs for web-based applications requiring high availability. Yeah, okay, how about, how about, so F5 implementation, implementation, and what did you do? What did you do? Diagnose complex network outages to implement, wow, kill that. That's, that's what a network engineer does. Utilize knowledge, learn from various projects to obtain a CC, okay, kill that. Okay, well, I mean, we might as well continue since we're halfway through. <laughs> Company four, uh, he's, this was one and a half years, yeah. Provision implemented managed IT solutions, blah, blah, blah. That, uh, that's what a network engineer does. Provided technical support for a network telecommunication service utilizing voice data. Okay, I guess you kind of need one bullet point. So technical support for network and maybe be specific here. Company five, this was three years, managed a network platform of 30,000 devices. Ooh, kind of cool. For multiple, okay, this word too, for Latin American and North American businesses, because this is plural, so you don't need to say multiple again, while providing proactive monitoring of alerts for IP from IP based from or for. Okay, I guess the alerts are coming from IP based. Okay, cool. Uh, I would be providing while well, providing proactive monitoring. How? How did you do the proactive monitoring? Performed an in-depth investigation of complex networking issues to identify, God, just kill that and kill that. One bullet point. So when you're getting like 10 years past, one bullet point is completely fine unless it's like a really well-named company. And help desk. Conducted technical troubleshooting, help us do, okay. I mean, just that one, just kill everything. Everyone knows what a level three help desk technician does. And this is so far back that uh, people probably don't care. 
And then here's the education, and that's that's completely fine. Uh, one style or reference is that as you get older, so we're talking 40s and 50s, uh, I hate to break it to you, but this is the reality is age ageism and age discrimination uh, is a real thing. So you may want to think about whether you want to leave your graduation date uh, by your college because they will simply work back backwards and figure out how old you are with this, right? So in the United States, you can't ask how old someone is, but uh, what we, what I can kind of do is, assuming the normal person graduates in four to five years, you enter in college at 18. So this puts you at 22 to 23 years old. Let's say 23, worst case 24. So 24 years old, 2007 is 14 years ago. So you add 24 to 14 and that makes this person somewhere around 38 to you know, 38 years old. That's just a guess if this person graduated at a normal time uh, and entered college at 18. So that's the best case scenario. So yeah, just think about whether you want to put your graduation date in there. Okay, well, this was, this was a long one. Um, this was a lot of... I wouldn't even say using the scalpel to cut things out. This was the sledgehammer, this was the hatchet. We had to do a, quite a bit uh, to this one, but I think after this person gets specific about a couple of these bullet points and follows these suggestions, they will have a much, much better resume. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope wherever you are, you stay safe. This has been a resume makeover. This is a free thing that we do for all of our Router Gods members. If you want to join Router Gods, just go to routergods.com. Thanks a lot. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.